Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 Argentina. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, let me just zoom in here. We can ratify the United Nations Conference Convention of the Sea. Um, we don't really have anything in the sea, so I will say yes to that, wherever the hell it is. There it is. Fantastic. Again, is there anything else here that I change economic focus, leave stuff, privatize major industrial nation? I can... Does that do anything for me? 31,000, I, I can make some money. Public sector is part of the economy. Oh, privatize. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to privatize stuff. Uh, unleash a purge of Argentina on all... Uh, what, what do you do? A tiny purge has a 50% chance of starting a civil war in the country. Wow, okay. Lose some prestige. Everybody lose consciousness, but they get a lot of militancy. Recently attempted to purge her nation's dissidents. Research part. Eh. I feel like maybe we don't need to necessarily purge people right now. Plain territorial waters up to 12 nautical miles. I will do that. All of the water is mine, including that little part of um, Antarctica, which I also claim. So yeah, other than that, things seem to be okay. There's like a lot of things in there too, which I wish I could just like get rid of. It's like there's too many things. We do have a transport fleet, so that's good. Is there any? Once again, is there anybody? Anybody in the world I can invade. I'm actually going to look here. Is there anybody in North America who's not in a sphere of influence? No. Is there anybody in South America who's not in a sphere of influence? No. They're in a sphere of the influence of the Dutch? They're neutral to everybody except for the Dutch. But the Dutch are allied to um, all of Europe. So I'm assuming NATO. I'm assuming this is NATO. I'm not too sure how the game enforces NATO to work. I was going to say that, but the France and the United Kingdom aren't allied with each other. And Germany has cores on southern Austria. I'm not too sure exactly why they have cores there. But apparently India and Pakistan are at war again. Over what? Western Kashmir? They want that territory again? 47 brigades against 109 brigades. And once India mobilizes, it's not going to be pretty for you, Pakistan. You know, they have 112 million people. And it, it's going up, like, every single day. Like, it's a lot of population growth. I'm only going up by, like, 500 a day. And that's going to take a while, I think, for that 0.93 to go up. Okay, so the Soviet Union has launched Sputnik. Uh, voting rigging? Nah, let's just, let's just have universal voting, but you can only vote for the conservatives. I think, to me, that sounds like democracy. And we also have oil, so that's good. Again, oh, not, again, I have no money. Okay. Again, not great, but it's, a, it's like this really weird thing where it's like, I'm not earning money, but I'm not taking out loans either. No money's available to you. Never loan me more than 930,000. You know, 930,000 pounds is a lot of money. It sounds to me at least like that's a lot of money. Even though this number again is still positive a lot of the time. I'm not too sure. Okay, like now we have money again. And then we lose all the money. Apparently we're not allied to Bolivia anymore. Or, or actually we're never allied to Bolivia. Sure, Bolivia. We can have an alliance. The South American Pact. Sounds like a good plan to me. I can cut spending. But it's like, I think if you and I cut spending to nothing. Like, it still doesn't really go up that much. Even though this is like a hundred something pounds. So I'm not too sure. Like, I can't tax people more. We're at max taxation. 
The National Bank has no money in it. So I don't know what these people are doing. I can sell stuff. They need a lot of everything. Well, what, what, what do we have right now that has a lot of money in it? Transport? Nobody produces transport. Whatever transport is, nobody has it. Raise the question, everybody getting plus one, plus one. Everybody loses... No, let's raise the question. To me, it seems a little bit better that way. But it's like, I don't have any loans. I don't have anything. So I'm going to save the game right now. And I'm going to just crank these mod up. I'm just going to make these things at maximum. Just, if I put this at the max, it doesn't seem like it does anything. So even if I put them on the, the maximum, it doesn't really seem like it has a negative effect. Which is weird. Why is the stockpile? Why are you spending so much money on the stockpile? Is it because people are actually buying goods from, the, from us now? Maybe? I'm not too sure. I can request more loans. Oh, plastic industry! I have plastics! I like the plastic industry. I'm a big fan of the plastic industry. No matter where the plastics are, it always seems like they make me money. I mean, I'm gonna cut these back down to, like, numbers that make sense, but... Again, now I'm just, I'm once again only making money. Only making money, but this isn't going up. So I can either have no pensions or reduce education. And I, well, I'm going to go with neither, no, just no on that one. I'm still dropping in place. I'm at 31st, but. Uh, your canned food. I kind of like want to close some of these factories down just so I can push people into the fat, the uh, plastic and in plastics industry. Like, what are you? You're like canned fruit. I'm just going to shut down this factory. And hopefully they'll go to the... Uh, ruling party support political reform to hire. That's, that's fine. Um, 7% chance. What do we get? I don't know. I don't, I don't have the money to open the factories. I can close them. Throw them straight to the plastic industry. And that seemed like it kind of worked. Renounce a general agreement on... Uh, do I need to do that? Although, there's the lead this here influence. Are seen as a secondary power and that they don't like us. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So what are our events? We can renounce the general agreement on trades, tariffs and trade. Um, What do you do? Request a foreign loan. What's the other thing we had in here as well? Leave the International Court of Justice? I don't know why I would want to do that. I'm just gonna not leave that at all. Renounce the general agreement on tariffs and trade. I don't know what that does for us. Oh, we're the military junta now. I don't know when that happened. So you're a state capitalist. Can I put the conservatives in charge? There actually is no conservative party, so that's actually probably why. You're either in the military junta or you're socialist. There's that's it. There's there's it's one or the other. I mean they still want voting. No, actually they want open opinions. They don't want vote they have the votes. They have the votes. But well, they just can't speak that. They can't. They just have a voice. We're gonna. We're gonna have the best elections. 
we're gonna have the best elections to vote for the military junta. Cause like right now, yeah. Okay, so that political power party just went away. It's it, we're in this weird situation right now where it's like I don't know how our government system works. Cause we have open vote, we have voting, but we have the military junta in charge. It's a very, it's an odd uh, state of affairs. Okay, I don't care about any of these people. Ban the Soviet Union. Are any of you like important things to me? Okay, they're just doing all the United Nations stuff. That is fine. I can. I don't need the information about what I've done myself. Oh, no, there we go. We know trailers. Factory throughput's gone up a little bit. So I don't. Maybe that was actually just bad. It didn't give me any, uh... Actually, doesn't it mean I can actually have positive tariffs now? I can have positive tariffs. I have, to have at least 40% tariffs. 100% tariffs. Do we just, like, not import anything? If 0.4 is just the, um, the modifier and that's it? We, we must just, like, not import anything. It's a weird situation that we have. But again, we don't have any we don't have any of this stuff. Allow activate heating and electricity. Heating and electricity seems like it'd be very nice to have in 1958. So again, we're losing money. That's to me is fine. I don't even want this factory. Just close it. Shut it down. I'm gonna cancel subsidies for a bit. Even though the subsidies and unemployment still de relatively low. It's gotta be all those, all those uh, plastic factories, man. Plastic's really the backbone of the Argentine economy right now. So that's, that's, I think, I, I do think that's actually what's keeping everybody employed is the plastics industry. In a weird turn of events. Uh, deselect all. I only want to see the plastics factories. Can I not cl click on any of these? I have the diamond thing open now. Okay, no, are you the plastic? You are, okay. Expand all the plastic and all the plastic factories in the country get expanded. You don't even have plastics. I don't know what you're here for. But all of you get um upgraded. Is there any other factory that's just like doing solid right now? Not really. It's really just the plastic industry. That's good. The entire just the entire nation is going to be employed making plastics for the planet. It's one of our biggest exports, actually. Who makes who makes the plastics in the world? The United States. The bottom of the list is about fifteen hundred. We are exporting. I don't know how much. We're exporting three hundred fifty-two, four hundred nine. So I mean, it's not a ton, but it's um could be could be worse. Is there anything plastics actually leads into? Like, if I click this, used by a okay, cake, so it makes pharmaceuticals, and it makes optics. Optics, it can be used for cars, it may be used for. So should I just be building pharmaceuticals everywhere as well? Pharmaceuticals, where are you? But you might not have them? I'm not too sure. Really, I don't know. But everything is good. Just the wonderful world of plastics. I mean, right now, all the factories seem like they're doing pretty alright. Plastics balance, positive. Pure income of 10 pounds for investments. Almost all the money is coming from investments. 
factories, making about budget has a 1,200 pounds. It's mostly buying petroleum. Is it just that they don't have a lot of goods like that they're buying? Last day, 7% profitability, market spending. So you actually make a lot of money. You just spend so much on the market. 7,842 budget. I'm not too sure how to actually read these numbers. Like, uh, Buenos Aires. Uh, where the hell you are. Look at this, a level 9 plastics factory. It's making only 300 pounds actually. It's just got a big, it's got a nice p profit margin. And it's like not even all getting sold. So like I'm not too sure why. But if we can just get everything to make the plastic industry stronger, I'm all for it. Optics goes out. We can Oh, we can get some uh, beverages in Tabasco. Fabric production goes up. Okay, is there anything in here that farming output? Oh, so maybe we do actually want to get down here. I actually do want to go down the commodity street, huh? Okay, let's start going down the commodity street. We just need money. Commerce, uh, we don't get a U until 68. We don't get U until 71. 62 for this one. Yeah, universal voting! You can't vote for anybody, but you have universal voting. Everybody can vote for nobody. Like, what do they want? The new ruling government has loosened its restrictions on the president of religion and the governance. At first, just as a point, courts based more traditional. Okay. Some soldiers are changed to Catholic. Okay. State based nominations. So they want state based nominations. We'll do that next. So they can vote for the upper house, they just can't vote for the ruling party. I guess. So, it's, 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 again, a very, 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 very weird system of government we got going on in our alternative dictatorship Argentina. But it's making money 500 pounds a day. That's making money. We're the- oh, let's get- ah, fuck yeah, dude. Let's claim the Antarctic Territory. Wherever it is in here. 21 Prestige, Research Power Modifier until the end of the game. Of course, we're still in 31st place, but could, could be worse. Like, who's ahead of us right now? That's Brazil- oh, Damn it, Brazil! You've got Communist! Uh, so you have a communist uh, government in uh, charge right now. So will that mean you go into a revolution? Maybe? Um, you're like 10% communist here. Like, what about party loyalty? Really, nobody in Brazil is loyal to a uh, party. Okay, that's fine. Is, is there any party loyalties anywhere? It looks like these ones are a bit for the, um, the socialist. But other than that, not really. Not really. Canada is actually pretty actually decently, um, socialist. Surprisingly. The communist riots? No. We're not going to let Brazil's influence spread here. Keep Brazil's politics in Brazil. They don't come over- I don't go over there and tell them how to live their life. I mean, I have 100,000 troops on the border, but I- You know. I don't tell them what to do. They don't get to tell me what to do. So now that we're making money, I do think I'm going to increase social spending a little bit. Just crank that up. So that hopefully now, these guys will be able to get the goods that they need.
But I do think this was going to be a good time to end this episode. Thanks for watching. My name is Anthony. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Goodbye.